This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2106 Social Drag by Steve Pavlina of StevePavlina.com. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for starting a new week with us here on ORD. I'm your host and narrator, Greg Audino. Really happy to have you here today, as I will be sharing an article from the wonderful Steve Pavlina, an article all about how the changes we make in our lives can often lead to confusion and uh, misinterpretation from those who have maybe known us for a while. This can be difficult to deal with sometimes, but hopefully by the end of the article and my commentary, you'll feel a bit more confident about your own changes and how they're received. So let's jump into this post now and optimize your life. Social Drag by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com Social drag is what happens when you undergo a significant personal shift, yet everyone around you still treats you the same. Suppose you've decided to switch careers. Even though you're still working in your old career, mentally you've already made the leap to the new one, and it's only a matter of time before your external reality reflects that. But the people around you haven't yet internalized your shift. It isn't real to them yet, so they keep interacting with you as if you haven't made the shift at all. Has this ever happened to you? Every significant shift I've experienced has had a corresponding level of social drag. Whenever a person makes a significant change in their lives, it can take the rest of the world a few years to catch up. This is especially true with family and friends that you don't see often. Their mental model of who you are is likely to drift behind the real you. Whenever I experience a major personal shift, it always takes my extended family and friends a while to get it. After college, when I started Dexterity Software, my parents still behaved as if I was looking for a job, like many college students would be expected to do after graduation. They mailed me job applications and sent me employment leads, but I just junked them. It took a couple of years for them to internalize the idea that I was running my own business, even though I'd already made that commitment from day one and had no interest in working for someone else. I think it was around the time I received a check for $50,000 from a publisher that they finally got it. More recently, when I told them I performed an improv comedy show, they reacted with surprise. For Steve, two years ago, this behavior would be a little surprising, but doing improv is pretty consistent with Steve Now's behavior. My local friends weren't really surprised. I've been giving humorous speeches for a year and a half. Another cause of social drag is when there are artifacts of your old self left behind, giving people a glimpse of who you once were, but not of who you are today. For example, when I was actively building Dexterity software, I wrote a number of articles on game development and marketing most of them between 1999 and 2002. Those articles became very popular, and I decided to keep them online in the hopes that people might still find some value in them. The copyright dates are listed at the bottom of each article. Unfortunately, people who read these old articles today often react as if I just wrote them yesterday, and people who knew me then seem to assume that I would offer the same advice today as I did several years ago. Heck no. The game scene has changed a lot since then. If I were active in the industry today, I would do things very differently. My old articles serve as advice on how to run an indie games business at that time, not how to run one today. Many of the high-level ideas still hold true, but the more specific details are largely obsolete. The shareware distribution model has changed markedly since I wrote those articles. Today's independent developer should skate where the puck is going, 
not where it's been. Thanks to social drag, there's this ghost version of Steve Pavlina that still lingers in the indie games industry long after I retired. People periodically debate his old ideas as if they're modern ones. Some of the stuff people attribute to him is amusing, in a sad sort of way. As time goes on, he drifts further and further away, performing whatever role social drag assigns. Social drag keeps him alive. Some people praise him for helping them. Others scorn him for giving them bad advice. Yet, he exists only in their minds. The real human being from which this ghost spawned has long since moved on. Social drag is mainly a nuisance, but it can be more serious if the drag threatens to slow you down or to erase your progress. You can choose to accept and then ignore it, which often works well when you're dealing with acquaintances, like coworkers you're about to leave behind anyway. But if you're dealing with friends or family members who will be around for a while, I recommend doing something to interrupt their old pattern of relating to you, so you create space for them to get to know the new you. What's the best way to interrupt someone's outdated method of relating to you? The most obvious approach is to verbally correct the person and remind him or her of your shift. This works well with some people, but I often find that it doesn't stick. It lacks the power to break people's old patterns. I find humor to be more effective. A little shock value can help too if used appropriately. It isn't necessarily to burn your old self in effigy, but feel free to poke fun at the person's old way of relating to you until they finally get it. One of my favorite approaches is to do a reversal. You let the other person know their model is outdated by relating to them in a humorously outdated way as well, so you're reflecting their error back to them and exaggerating it. For example, you might treat a divorced friend as if he or she is still married. This will get the other person's attention and encourage him or her to update the mental model of who you are now. A bit of teasing works well on people with a healthy sense of humor, such as your typical ornery game developer. But a straightforward, heartfelt explanation tends to work better with people who are more sensitive to the emotions of others. I don't recall ever meeting a game developer like that, though. You just listened to the post titled Social Drag by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. And be sure to stick around for my commentary right after this. Now, I am a big believer that if you want to be your best self in your relationships or in anything you do, you need to fuel yourself properly. And that's why I'm so happy to have this show sponsored by Factor. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. You'll have over 35 options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale, and healthy options done easily. Not to mention it's flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing anywhere from 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime with no hassle whatsoever if something changes. So, Head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. Picture a wardrobe upgrade with quality essentials at an unbeatable price. Quince has you covered with timeless pieces that never go out of style. You'll have them in your closet forever. Quince has all the must-haves, like Mongolian cashmere crewneck sweaters from $50, iconic 100% leather jackets, and versatile flow knit activewear. And all Quince items are priced 50-80% to 80 less than similar brands. That's because by partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts out the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us. And most importantly, Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices along with premium fabrics and finishes. And as for me, I love Quince's versatility too. They have great home items as well as clothes, and I've been really happy with the bedding that I bought from them. When you look at it and you feel the material, you can tell easily that it's of high quality. So indulge in affordable luxury. Go to quince.com ORD for free shipping on your order and 365-day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash ORD to get free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com 
slash ORD. And a big thank you to Steve. He always has such interesting perspectives. I really like this one a lot. And as a person who has undergone a lot of personal, professional, and geographical changes myself, I can absolutely relate to what he's saying. Social drag, it's a really interesting phenomenon, and I enjoy his tips on combating it that he provided towards the end. But one other thing worth mentioning and looking out for is when social drag feels strong enough, or perhaps we just feel unsure enough about our recent changes, that we start to convince ourselves that maybe this change is not for the best. Maybe we're in over our heads and all those voices who don't quite buy into it are onto something. Should you be feeling that way? I hope you keep this post close to you and let it serve a reminder that social drag will always exist. It's not unique to you. It exists for anyone who isn't changing their entire lives all at once, meeting all new people in a whole new country or what have you. And if we can remember that, it can help to delegitimize the voices that might be telling us we've made a mistake and instead allow us to embrace a new chapter. But that's going to do it for today, everyone. Thank you again to Steve, and thanks, of course, to you for coming and starting your week off right with us. Have a terrific Monday, and be sure to come back again tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.